So the story that I'm going to show you today has two separate angles. So imagine you're wanted to start this business for a long time. You do so, but you do it just as the pandemic erupted. And you can't get stimulus money because they say you're in a loophole and they say you're too new to get money. That's exactly what happened to Whitney Brockman. And I, you know, I, I spoke with her this morning about that and what her new business, which is called Neighborhood Bar, that's B-A-R-R-E, is all about. Take a look. Whitney, thanks for being with us today. Boy, these are tough times for businesses that are just starting up, and your story was a little bit on the unique side. Tell me what happened when you first decided to open your neighborhood bar. Well, we had a great plan. We had some soft opening events planned, and we were literally two days into that soft opening week when we decided to close our doors due to safety precautions on March 17th. And the very next day, we basically went online. So a little bit of a different plan, but that's what happened. So along with probably every business out there, we submitted or I submitted an application to um, receive some relief and was told that because I was too new, I missed the cutoff, that it was a loophole with the program, but I didn't qualify. So I called another bank that was through our business banker. I called another couple of banks and basically was told the same thing. So. Um, it was a loophole and they basically told me all the best to you <laughs> and so just kind of picked myself up and kept going. You're in this wide diamond shape and your hips are tucking under to protect your back. Yeah, and I mean that's what you have to do with this kind of stuff too. So let's talk a little bit about what you are doing right now. How is it going for you now and what do you expect to happen once they kind of open the doors? Almost the next day we were on Facebook Live in our Facebook group page. And then the next week we decided to move over to Zoom because it offers a two-way interaction experience. And that's been a really great opportunity for us to not only meet our clients in person, but offer them that in-person interaction that everyone's craving right now. We have anything from a 30-minute class to a 45-minute class. We have a HIT class. Um, we even have an advanced bar class for those who have been taking bar for years. Um, and then soon, the Neighborhood Bar Greensboro Studio will be offering an in-person outdoor class series, and that will be starting later this week. I don't know if I can get my leg up that high, but I will give it a shot, Whitney. <laughs> I appreciate you taking time out today. Best of luck to you. Yeah, bad visual. Sorry about that. Um, I will tell you this. So my heart broke for them because I just thought you want to live this dream. That's your dream business. And then just when you do it, a pandemic breaks out. So they're really victims of bad timing. If you want to check out Neighborhood Bar, great workout facility, and Whitney does a great job, check out their website. I've linked you to it on this article. It'll be on WFMYNews2.com after the show and on my Facebook page as well. We're coming right back.